With the recent news of his brother's shocking death, former Backstreet Boy Nick Carter has certainly been going through it. After all, this is the guy who began his professional career as a member of the Backstreet Boys at just 12 years old. My name's Nick Carter and I'm from Tampa, Florida. A group that would go on to become one of the most successful acts of all time. And Nick went through all of that before even making it out of his teenage years. What I'm hinting at is that life in the spotlight can be pretty intense, especially when you're dealing with the type of circumstances Nick is right now. Thankfully, Nick has a pretty sensational support system in place, including a loving partner and kids to help him get through it. For a number of years, Nick and his growing family lived primarily in Los Angeles. More specifically, they're a sprawling compound in the neighborhood known as Hidden Hills. Nestled inside a gated equestrian enclave, you'll find a traditional 5,000 square foot home that was first built in 1956. Accessible by private driveway, this house rests on 1.32 acres and offers some amazing views of the nearby city and rolling hills. Nick first bought the property back in 2013, about a year before he'd marry Lauren Kitt. Together, they'd build their family, welcoming their son Odin in 2016, followed by Saoirse and Pearl in 2019 and 2021, respectively. During those first few years, when it was only Nick and Lauren, they decided to heavily renovate their new LA home by installing hardwood floors, vaulted ceilings, balconies, oversized windows, and sliding glass doors all throughout. They also updated a number of the living spaces, including the kitchen, which is probably the fanciest room in the house now, thanks in large part to marble countertops and stainless steel appliances, some of which are built into the island. Other common areas include a games room that comes complete with a built-in aquarium and an oversized living room with plenty of space for an impromptu performance or two. Then upstairs, the home boasts five bedrooms as well as six and a half bathrooms. It's not to mention sprawling staircases, elegant crown moldings, and a master suite that includes two walk-in closets for him and her. There is also a sitting area in Nick's master suite that's honestly bigger than most people's living rooms and contains not only a stone fireplace, but a makeup vanity table as well. As for the backyard, it features a well-lit pool with surrounding stone terrace. There is also a newly built guest house nearby for any visiting family or friends. Oh, and there's a chicken coop that's been designed to resemble the main residence as well. I'd say that's pretty unique. The question is, do spoiled rotten chickens lay better eggs? I guess we'll have to ask Nick one day to find out. After starting their family off in this lovely home, Nick and Lauren would decide to list the property in 2017, putting it on the market for $4.1 million and finding a buyer soon after. Next, Nick and his family would head off to Las Vegas after the Backstreet Boys signed up for a residency in Sin City. But before we head out to the desert ourselves, there's one last former home of Nick Carter's I want to check out. And this one is on the other side of the country. Back in 2006, when Nick was in the midst of establishing himself as a solo performer outside of the Backstreet Boys, he picked himself up a solid slice of independence when he purchased a 4,699 square foot house in Parkland, Florida. Freshly built at the time Nick acquired it, the estate set Nick back around 1.3 million for a five bedroom, five bathroom, tile roofed home. This home sat in very close proximity to the houses that surround it, all of which reside in a gated golf community known as Parkland Golf and Country Club. And this is a place where as an added bonus, parents can stash their small kids at the local kids center while they go to the Greg Norman designed 18 hole golf course or chow down at the nearby Caribbean grill. The community also offers tennis courts, a resort style swimming pool and spa for massages and many petties, as well as a fit fitness center, botanical gardens, and banquet hall. But that's enough about the amenities. Let's check out his home itself. The first thing you'll probably notice about Nick's Parkland home is that it features an oddly located set of stairs at the front exterior. I don't know about you guys, but to me that looks more or less an open invitation for wannabe intruders. Another oddity when it comes to this home is its living room. I mean, don't get me wrong. For the most part, it's your average looking living space. It's really that arcade machine in the corner that sticks out and feels like a little much, at least in this room. In the kitchen, you'll find some plants and basically all brown everything decor, even when it comes to the fridge. And the dining room offers some
somewhat of a medieval style with wood absolutely everywhere. Last but not least, Nick also decided to doll up his primary suite with a bathroom that includes a jacuzzi tub and a bedroom decorated in a bamboo thicket theme, which I don't think would be my first pick, but that's just me. At least the backyard here was pretty awesome with its cobblestone patio and swimming pool that includes a spa set right in the middle. Nick would only own this home for about two years before listing it in 2008 for $1.5 million. According to public records, the home took a long time selling, and ultimately, Nick had to eat a loss by accepting an offer of just under 700 k in 2011. Thankfully, a few years later, he'd become a resident at Caesars Palace in Las Vegas alongside his fellow Backstreet Boys, no doubt making all that money back and then some. In 2017, Nick and his family moved to Las Vegas and purchased a brand new home. Details about this home are hard to come by, and all we really have to go on are the occasional glimpses we get from Nick on social media. Like that time he went on Twitch after the birth of his daughter Pearl in 2021 for a newborn photo shoot. Thanks to that clip we got a pretty thorough taste of what the main living space in Nick's home is like. For starters, it's an open concept room that includes the kitchen, dining area and a living room with a couple of very round grey couches. And sure, it looks a lot more like a disorganized studio in Nick's video, but what do you expect when you're trying to wrangle three very young kids for a photo shoot? Normally, it probably looks more more like this. On the opposite side of what is appears to be a wet bar and the further details of the house which Nick never really showed off. But we can spot a nice built in fireplace in the wall back there. Filling up a large part of the main living space is Nick's kitchen that has some green tile backsplash and appliances disguised to look like built in seamless wooden cabinets, as well as a kitchen island with a marble counter. There is even a massive walk in pantry that's divided into a food side and a medicine side. Eagle eyed viewers can also spot the massive wine cellar that Nick's kitchen boasts right next door. And located only a few feet away from there is what's probably Nick's kids favorite space of all, comfy and cozy home theater where they can watch cartoons or play video games to their hearts content. Of course as nice as all of that is, the backyard is even prettier. Through some sliding glass doors in the living room you can access the swimming pool and outdoor entertaining space. Not to mention Nick's home is centrally located in what's known as the Southern Highlands Golf Club. Since his arrival in Vegas, Nick has done all he can to fit in right and become a true citizen of the city, hosting a number of benefits during the pandemic to encourage others to stay at home when things were at their worst. The stay at home dad life right now has really um, been my joy. But now Nick is going to need that friendly support more than ever after his baby brother Aaron's passing. Nick was actually in London touring with the other members of the Backstreet Boys when news of his brother's death hit the internet. He soon sent out a heartfelt message about the passing of his little brother and later on that night he was comforted on stage by the other members of his group. Recently however, Nick has returned home to be with his family during this trying time and he shared an image from his homecoming that showed him healing with the loving supports of his three adorable children. Here's hoping that Nick can find some happiness over the next few days while recovering from the shock of what's happened. In the meantime, it appears as if he's going to continue to call Las Vegas home for the foreseeable future. All right, everyone, that is going to bring this latest house tour to a close. Thanks for watching, and before you leave, answer me this one question. If you were a world famous celebrity, would you rather live under the spotlight in Los Angeles or away from the scrutiny in Las Vegas. Let me know your reasons in the comments down below. Personally, I'm a Las Vegas fan through and through though. Otherwise, like, subscribe and turn on your notifications to make sure you never miss a video. If you want to check out similar videos, you can see our recent Aaron Carter house tour or one where we check out the homes of all the Backstreet Boys. My name is Kara the Vampire Slayer, follow me on Instagram to chat and I'll see you all on the next tour. Bye!